And as we've heard today, uh, sustainability is really a key ingredient to uh, productive industry long term. So the BASF, sustainability really is a core value in what we do every single day. We're the largest chemical company in the world, so we really view sustainability as our license to operate. And uh, that's really how important it is to us. And I think that uh, as an organisation we can really uh, help growers uh, understand sustainable practices uh, better. But they really inspire us in lots of instances as well. We can learn a lot from growers around sustainability. They've done a tremendous job in the potato industry and many other segments of the industry in actually increasing productivity uh, significantly over the last 20 to 30 years and really uh, doing so in a very sustainable and, uh, and long-term uh, 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 combination really of uh, a balance between societal, economic and ecological needs. And I think when growers really embrace all those three areas, it really untaps a lot of potential to uh, really boost their, uh, their production in a, in a sustainable way, but also manage the competing interests sometimes between uh, society and uh, the ecological needs. So using new products, new technologies that have a uh, very uh, you know, kind of footprint to the environment is important, but also um, increasing their productivity to get more from every acre is really an important practice as well to uh, obviously boost uh, production overall. We just announced this morning uh, our uh, rollout of the Ag Balance tool which really is trying to help growers understand what are those key drivers of sustainability, really seeing a, a tool that growers can actually use to, to uh, assess their own situation where they are today, again looking at those three factors of uh, society, uh, the uh, business aspects and the uh, ecology, to really look at what are the elements that enable sustainability and it's a tool we've used already with a number of different growers here in the Ag Balance tool is probably the, the, the flagship in terms of a really tangible tool that can help growers but I think there's a real opportunity like we've done today is to bring different aspects of the industry together into dialogue. Today we heard across many different industries, many different crop sectors, what growers are doing on their own to introduce more sustainable practices. And I like one of the comments that one of the growers said today was that it's actually good for their bottom line to be sustainable. It makes them more money, it saves them energy, it reduces waste, which all contribute to a more positive bottom line for every grower. Well, we're very committed to biotechnology. We feel that it's one of those key innovation enablers that's going to help us increase productivity in a sustainable way. And I think we've seen a very strong track record since uh, GMO crops have been introduced in terms of their adoption, but also their uh, safety profile and what they've actually enabled growers to do in terms of uh, increase their yields and manage their crops uh, very effectively. to announce uh, just in the last few weeks one of those major fungicides has just received uh, federal registration from the EPA for the US grower. Its product is called Preaxor and really brings the very latest carboxamide chemistry to a whole range of uh, crop producers across the US including potato growers where Preaxor will be registered in most of the growing states to really help control uh, early blight disease and other diseases that really do impact productivity. I think it's important that innovation is then also seen as part of a broadening the toolbox for growers. Fungicides are an important tool for increasing uh, potato yields and what we've been able to do is expand the toolbox of options that growers have to continue to increase their productivity. Xenium is the active ingredient that's contained within Preaxor coupled with the uh, powerful uh, technology of Headline F500 bringing those two uh, world-class leading technologies into one uh, product offering to really uh, boost uh, disease control or potential even further and protect these technologies for the long run uh, and uh, that's a key element of uh, sustainability as well. S good stewardship, good uh, recommendations from the outset. So what we actually do is before we even bring that product to marketplace, we heavily research it, we put it in the hands of growers and we pay very close attention to what are the recommendations that will optimise its use. And we put those recommendations on the label and then we also over time refine them. We also have a huge commitment in terms of supporting growers with our technical service team that are very uh, important when we introduce a new product to making sure growers know how the product should be used, when and how it should be applied. is a big commitment that BASF has to its technology. Um, to bring a, a molecule to marketplace like Xenium on average costs about $256 million and on average around about an 8 to 12 uh, year lead, lead uh, time. So it's a massive long term commitment to finally see a product get registered. It's a, it's a massive uh, undertaking.